Here in Adelaide, we're lucky enough to have some beautiful heritage buildings, and one that's recently been reimagined is Electra House. But before we check out this fascinating building today, here's Grant to have a look at its yesterdays. Here's King William Street in 1901, and that scaffolding just to the right of the post office is Electra House going up. But back then, it was called the Citizens Life Assurance Building, and as the sign tells us, it was home to the Norwich Union Fire Office. It's a remarkable building for several reasons. The design is considered quite extravagant for the time, and it features dramatic and high quality classic detailing. In 1921, all international telegraphic communications to Australia from Europe came through this building when it became the headquarters of the Eastern Extension Telegraph Company. There was certainly no room for slackers amongst the ranks of cable operators here at Electra House. For starters, there was a fierce two years apprenticeship where you virtually worked for almost no money at all and then six to seven hour shifts six days a week where you were constantly checked for accuracy and speed. If you failed those, it was out the door. It was also the first building in Australia with an electric lift and while it's still here today, it doesn't actually work. However, the new model down the hall does. Which is just as well because Electra House is spread over three impressive levels. On the first floor, you'll find Olia, a high-end Greek dining experience. On the top floor sit two function spaces modelled on New York apartments. Manager James Admiral explains that every facet of this redevelopment was carefully considered. Fixtures, fittings, everything along to you know our little table numbers we made sure that you know it was something different because I think that's what Adelaide's been looking for. Of course down on the ground floor is where most of the action happens. The front bar's stylish with high ceilings and plenty of greenery which all set the scene for a cocktail or two. Incredibly more than 10 million dollars were spent on transforming Electra House and the update has certainly added elegance and vibrancy to this part of town. Just a short walk away in Gresham Street, you'll find La Bouvette Drinkery. It's another spot not to be missed because here, charming Frenchman Dominique Lentz has created something unique. What happens in France now, what we do uh, at the moment, so in terms of food, in terms of, uh, of wine, in terms of aperitif, because the culture in France is all about aperitif, having a drinks with friends and with food, and uh, just trying to make no cliches, it's just something really genuine. We have a big focus on natural French uh, wines and uh, South Australian because we only have French and South Australian products. When creating La Bouvette, Dominic wanted to be as authentic as possible. And what could be more French than this? Pastis, Quai Royale and this, Escargot. Bon appétit. Perfectly Parisian, it's just the place for a laid back catch up. Uh, I want people to actually, wherever their social background is, wherever they're from or whatever day they had, I want them to walk in and say, oh, I'm somewhere different. And I forget, I forget if I had troubles or worries and I just wanted to relax and experience something different. And from France to, well, the rest of Europe, Bar Torino on Hutt Street is what happens when an Italian vermouth bar takes on a Spanish flavour. Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. What have we got here? So this is just a little sample to showcase what we have on offer here with our menu. I'm starting with this first one here. So these are the Hildas. So they are a very traditional little Spanish tapas. Um, and they were called Hilda, named after Rita Hayworth's role in the movie Hilda. Um, as she was a little green, a little salty and a little sweet. They work beautifully with the vermouth. The drinks list and menu are extensive, as is the experience of the management, brother and sister team Nick and Jess Favaro, who grew up next door in their parents' restaurant Chianti. They say their mum and dad taught them the importance of good service. So there you have it, three great new places to check out on your next night out. And what's more, we haven't even scratched the surface. There are plenty of new bars popping up all around town. Why not get out there and discover some yourself?